about you guys, but I'm feeling that dreamy and artistic and just go with the flow kind of energy. Pisces season really invites us to take that deep dive into our subconscious because it has a lot to teach us. Each season brings about different lessons, right? We couldn't just live in our subconscious, but right now is the time collectively for us to go in deeper. Meditate more often, make a point to meditate, close your eyes throughout the day, connect with your breath, in the shower is my favorite time because there's really no distractions and with Pisces season and the water it just really goes nicely together and I like to imagine the water coming down in through my uh, crown chakra and bringing in divine intelligence divine knowing and washing away what's no longer serving me down the drain so try it out maybe that practice will work for you as well Pisces season is um, a water sign. It marks the end of the zodiac season. So it's really, it's a good time for new beginnings and releasing. Every time we release, no matter how scary it is, whatever it may be, we always um, invite in an open door for new beginnings, okay? So this is really a great time to offer in those new beginnings for us. I love aquamarine for Pisces season associated with our throat chakra wearing a piece right here laying a piece right here oh this is just a great stone it really helps to calm the nerves brings um, just a peaceful energy so if you're feeling anxious or uptight release those shoulders taking a deep breath and going with the flow. I'm going with the flow. That could even be your mantra. I'm going with the flow. This is a very magical season. So aquamarine is um, a crystal recommendation to work with because it gives you the courage for self-expression. And if you think about Pisces season where we're diving deep into our subconscious, we're looking at what is it we have to share with the world. I made this bracelet specifically with Pisces season in mind. Um, in the tarot, Pisces is ruled by the moon. And I paired this with Labradorite, taking a deep dive into our subconscious, bringing it to the conscious for transformation. And it's also the stone of magic and aquamarine for communication and selenite. Selenite helps just to cleanse all of our chakras so that we can be more in flow. And another stone I love for Pisces season is this Amazonite. Amazonite connects the heart and the throat chakra, helping us to express from our heart, giving us the courage to express our authentic self, our true self, and what we're holding deep within. Amethyst is a great one as well for Pisces season, connecting with our spirits. And this is also a great one to work with for dream work. There's a lot of subconscious messages um, lying within our dream work. That's how our higher self will communicate with us. And black tourmaline for grounding, staying grounded during Pisces season. It's a watery season and it's very, very flowy. And it's a great season for magic and for artistic expression and connecting with spirit. And while doing all that work, it's important to stay grounded. So I hope that you're enjoying the beginning of Pisces season and you can grab my book, Navigating Astrology with Crystals, where I go into each season, each full and new moon, and I talk about their energies, their crystals, and the mantra for those seasons. Namaste.